Hey everyone, and welcome to the Love America Hate Taxes podcast. Before we get started, I just want to remind you, go ahead and hit that like button, hit the share button. That helps us get the message out so you can get behind this movement of you love your country, but you hate the taxes you pay. So I'm here with Don uh, Rasmussen, and today we're going to be talking about how we can use your timeshare for your employees and use it as a deduction, potentially. So we did, a, you know, we were just talking about earlier, we actually did a, a uh, one of our shows on timeshares about uh, as a business owner, using the bi- for business purposes. Mm-hmm. This one here is a little bit different. Yeah. It's still using it for business purposes, but yeah. it's not so much about the owner as much as it's about the employees. Absolutely. So we had a question come in from uh, um, one of our uh, viewers. It says, uh, I own a timeshare, but I am not going to use it this year. Uh, this got me thinking of giving uh, the timeshare to my employees for their use if we can achieve certain revenue goals. So kind of a promotion type mm-hmm. thing. How could I create business tax deductible treatment for this timeshare? Yeah, so either one of these are going to be a tax deduction for the business owner. Mm -hmm. One is if you want to make it tax-free for the employee or do you want to be part of their compensation package. And there's some specific things, Ryan, that will determine which one applies. So let me give you an example. Let's say you have 14 days at your timeshare and not going to be able to use it so you want it, like I said, in, the, in this inquiry, they want to use it as some kind of you know, perk uh, for their employees. If they say, listen, we want to make it tax-free, in other words, it's a tax-free uh, entertainment facility. So the criteria on that there is that if you're going to allow your employees to use it, then the majority of that 14 days has to be used by your employees. employees. Not you. Not you. Not you. Uh, because now... If you use it, you know, if, let's say we have 14 days and you have 11 days for your employees, okay, mm-hmm. and you use it for two days, you know, for mm-hmm. a weekend or something like that there, mm-hmm. then you can still, an uh, entertainment uh, uh, facility can use it as a tax-free benefit to the employees. Gotcha. Um, is there any way that, uh, to the client's question, using, you know, to achieve, like, as a bonus to, to like, achieve certain revenue goals, things like that, or whatever the case may be, uh, is there any stipulations around who or how you structure that entertainment facility to specific employees or does it have to be open to everybody or how does that work? No, it's a good point. You have to use it, op- leave it open for everybody. Now, mm-hmm. the exception to that is you and your family because mm-hmm. if you're a highly compensated employee uh, and you're, you're, you're using the, the bulk of it, then it can't be a tax-free uh, benefit. Gotcha. Okay. So if I'm going to, let's say, have my 14 days and I'm going to use it seven days the year, um, and I'm going to leave the other seven out for the employees, I can be much more discriminatory. Mm-hmm. Okay. And that would be, though, that's taxable compensation back to the employee. Okay. Gotcha. 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 So um, let's go back into, since you brought up compensation, but the, using the timeshare mm-hmm. as compensation. How does that work? Do you have to be discriminatory with that about, or non-discriminatory with that? Walk us through a little bit of that. Yeah. So you can be as discriminatory as you want when it comes to compensation as far mm-hmm. as who gets to use it, mm-hmm. okay, and how much they get to use it. And now that becomes, again, taxable back to the employee. Both of these, whether that's a, uh, a deductible entertainment facility, which we talked about earlier, where it's tax-free to the employees, mm-hmm. or whether it's not. Because uh, how you do it, though, is going to be the key. So, you know, again, communicating this to your employees, if you are going to use it, quite a bit and uh, your family's going to use it, then you need to go ahead and make it a compensation issue. Okay. Uh, and making sure that that shows up on their W-2 and of course they'll pay taxes on that. And that's the fair market value. So this would be, so uh, let me just ask you this question. So because it's going to show up as their, as in, like, like part of their income, mm-hmm. correct? Mm-hmm. So um, like as a business owner yourself, what would, What's the greatest benefit to like to the employer outside of getting that? Like, would it be better for the employer to do the entertainment facility, or better at, as the compensation part? Yeah, of it? for the employee, yeah, um, it's going to be if, if if I'm not going to use it at all, <clears throat> then it's going to be best to make it a fringe benefit, mm-hmm. tax free. Yeah, okay, and then anybody can use it. First come, first served. There's no discriminatory. It's just you know, uh, and you just make sure you keep a log, of course. Mm-hmm. So cut, Make sure you keep a log, some kind yeah. of journal of, of who's using it, how much they're using it for. That's just, again, going back to documentation is the mm-hmm. key to success with the IRS. Um, so that, that, that's the big key there. Awesome. And going into, uh, you know, using this as a tax deduction mm-hmm. for your business. Again, kind of walk us through a little bit. There might be some hoops you got to jump through, you know, to get this status for certain 
parts of this. Walk us through that just a little yeah. bit. So if you're, if you're structured, so look, there's two ways to have a timeshare. One is ownership. Mm -hmm. The other one is a lease. So let me talk first of all about the ownership part of it. So in the ownership, you get to depreciate it and, and all those type of things, deduction of taxes and maintenance and all that kind of stuff. That's treated one way. The lease itself is just going to be the lease payments. Mm -hmm. So let me say, we'll start first of all with the fringe benefit, the tax-free portion. That's all going to be deductible for the business, okay? okay? Period. The, if you do it discriminatory and you make it taxable to the employee, it's still deductible to the business owner. Mm -hmm. All right, so that, I just want to start that off the bat. It's both deductible for the business owner, for the business. But when it comes to uh, making sure that you, from a tax perspective, how you do it is going to be important. So there's generally three different structures that we see. Um, it's going to be a sole proprietor LLC, okay? Uh, there's going to be a C corporation or an S corporation. Those are generally the three basics. There are partnerships occasionally, but we'll use these three specifically. If you're a Schedule C disregarded entity, um, what you're going to do, of course, is going to write a check from the LLC mm -hmm. to you personally, okay? That's, and, and, and you, you put it as a, uh, an expense, mm -hmm. and that is going to be for the employee benefit. And that way there, it's just being reimbursed back, mm -hmm. okay? So that's for uh, whether that's a lease or whether that's for the expenses of the mortgage and the depreciation, all that kind of stuff. Um, that's number one. Number two, if it's going to be a S corporation, same situation. You're going to create an invoice for mm -hmm. the, the corporation. The corporation is going to stroke a check for that lease payment and those uh, or those other expenses. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, anything else regarding the, like I said, with this, uh, you know, using it as a, <clears throat> using it as a um, entertainment facility, um, any sort of deductions, anything else we need to be aware of as far as the two or, or what's most beneficial? What would you recommend a business owner do? Yeah, no, I think that you just have to think about if you do have these timeshares, and some people love them, some people hate them, mm -hmm. is that if you want to use them as an employee benefit, just you have to determine is it going to be a tax-free to the employee mm -hmm. or is it going to be a taxable event for the employee? Mm -hmm. And really what it all comes down to is uh, discriminatory. Mm -hmm. um, so if you want highly compensated employees, in your staff to only use it, then you're going to have to be a taxable. Mm -hmm. If you're saying, listen, here's the 14 days, first come, first serve, and it's not you or your family, then you can do the tax free. And I do have a question. So <clears throat> is it just the timeshare uh, is what is uh, considered taxable towards the employee? Or like if the, if the business owner pays for like the flight and everything else like that that comes along with it is all that, like the whole trip encompassing what's taxable. Yeah, it depends on what the business pays for. Yeah. You know? So if I'm making it as a, a perk and I'm going to fly you to Hawaii to be in, your, in our condo, which mm -hmm. I don't have a condo there, but <laughs> I say I do, you know, then that's going to be all taxable back to the employee. Okay, so. yeah, that's good to know. Yep. Good yep. to know. Anything else? Yes, and, and, and let me address that, that if you have um, a, if you want, you're making this a tax-free benefit, the airfare and all that would not be included. It's, it just, gonna, no, it's just going to be the, the, the timeshare. Timeshare. Awesome. Um, well, guys, thank you so much uh, for joining us. Uh, so recently we changed our name uh, to the Love America Hate Taxes podcast. And we have some awesome T-shirts. I'm wearing one of the first ones we have. This is our new model. Um, if you'd like one of those, just feel free. Reach out uh, to us. Let us know what size that you like, and we can get one out to you. Join our movement. Uh, again, we're just trying to bring awareness so that uh, business owners and people can pay less taxes because we love our country, but we pay and you know a lot of taxes. And, and so we're trying to do anything we can to bring you some more information. And again, if you like it, um, this content, please like and share this. Share it with your friends so that the word can get out. Any other final words? No. Nope. Thank you all. Awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs>